Hello, I'm back again to show you the first steps on how to use Dialogs Evo. We'd like to start with the graphical user interface, so how you can find your functions within the software, and then furthermore, how to insert uh, DWG or DXF as the background of your project. When you start, the start screen looks like this. On the left side, you have the start options to either construct a new building, to import an IFC, a BIM file, to start with an easy and simple project or do a road lighting project. In the center, in this row, we have the most recent projects that I have done. On the right side, you can immediately access catalogs of one of the 200 manufacturers. You can look for support in our forum or use the manual. Now let's have, before we start our project, a look at the configurations. We have the general settings and the standards to be found here under File and Settings. The general settings have several fields and we shall have a look at the first three. You may activate or disactivate the automatic saving every 5, 10 or 15, whatever you want, minutes. You can modify the quantity of undo steps. You may modify the display and printout option to any of the 26 languages that we have available. So display and printing language can be different. You may change length units and photometric units from metric to imperial numbers. On the right side, we have the CAD window, which is currently in my case displaying three decimal places. And as DLX Evo is showing me everything in meters, I have set it to a precision of millimeters, three decimal places behind the dot. Internally, the precision is even higher. Now let's have a short look at the standards as well. When you begin, Dialogs Evo starts with the European standards, which you might like to change to the American standards as well. All relevant values are given here for EN 12464 or in the American case with the IES handbook. You'll find all the relevant figures and all the relevant profiles here and there. We later have a look at that when we're working with the standards. Now let's start with the outdoor and building planning. When I start my project, I shall start in our case with a DWG or DXF drawing. So I start with importing a DWG. And once the project is imported, I can move around. When I press my mouse wheel down, I can drag my drawing around. When I use the mouse wheel, I can zoom in and out. Most likely, the drawing is scaled correctly. As you can see by the line above and on the left side, how the scale is. If I want to verify that, I can use also the tape measure. So I can zoom to a certain position and measure from one point to another and see if that size fits within the given dimensions. So I can be sure that the scaling is correct. Now let's have a look at the left side. I can import further DWGs if I wish and then place them as I need, because a drawing can be moved and dragged around by using the mouse or by inserting here the necessary numbers. Here we have the current scaling in millimeters and the option to change a three-dimensional DWG or DXF to a two-dimensional projection, which can be very helpful in some cases. Further down, we have the layer structure, where I can change the colors with a click on this field, on the current color. And at the bottom, I have the save options, where I may embed my drawing into the project, making it a bit larger, but giving me the option to use it as a proof for my work. So this has been the first step of this project. We will be proceeding in the next video with the construction of the walls and the building itself.